Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard? Have you have you heard the news this week? Are you do you live under a rock? Apparently, Henry Cavill is no longer going to be Superman. And the rees across the internet from a lot of people who thought we had the perfect Superman, although I never actually saw him play Superman. It, it, the guy wore the costume uh, and could have potentially actually played a really good Superman, but never actually played. He played a really good neck snap, man. I really like that. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, I have been seeing this news all week and I just... Henry Cavill this, Henry Cavill that, and, and, and it's been multiple weeks. Apparently, he's coming back. He's not coming back. He's leaving The Witcher. Henry Cavill has surrounded the Nerdosphere in a way that has been somewhat irritating to me, and I couldn't figure out why. And maybe it's because I haven't heard a take on it quite yet that I enjoyed, and I actually had to put two different takes together on this one to finally realize why it is so important that Henry Cavill is no longer playing the Man of Steel. And it's, I think, a good thing. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, welcome to A Drink With Crazy. My name is Royce, I am your host. I drink a beer on A Drink With Crazy and I like to talk about some things once in a while. I also like to shout out small creators who are writing books, who are writing comic books, who are artists, who are making movies. Who are doing game development so if you guys like what i do here make sure to go down below hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into it so as everybody has heard henry cavill will no longer be playing the man of steel well for the first time essentially if they would write him that way <laughs> like uh, i keep going back to that jokes aside but he's no longer playing superman and everybody was kind of losing it they're like oh my gosh this that and the other thing now a little less or a little more than a day later, we hear that he's actually been in talks about doing a 40K live action series through Amazon. At least that's what Variety says here. I have the article pulled up, but I, the article isn't necessary for, I think, this conversation. And I have been hearing from a lot of people that I watch is that the Hollywood star is dead. People don't go to movies and they don't watch television shows necessarily to see stars anymore. They go for the overall, the universe that was set up, the, 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 the characters that are there. But the Hollywood star really doesn't draw people into movies a lot anymore. Not the way that they used to. And it's been argued that one of the last Hollywood stars out there is Tom Cruise. And I would not disagree with that. However, we also see the draw that Keanu Reeves has. And that's predominantly because, you know, you see all the means of Keanu Reeves, you know, Keanu Reeves avoiding being me too like this. And his hands are out here and he's very respectful of people. Keanu Reeves also takes care of his cast and crew members and buys them cars and Rolexes and all this stuff. And so we see these old stars out there, the old guard of Hollywood, or I guess the 80s guard of Hollywood, right? And they still have someone of that star power, similar like Denzel Washington has. Anytime you see Denzel in a movie, it's probably going to be, there are movies that I've watched that I was like, oh, this isn't my thing. And then I see it and it's got Denzel Washington in it. And the guy just is bafflingly good. And all of a sudden it hit me. That's why Henry Cavill is all over. That's why people were talking about it when he left The Witcher. That's why people were in an uproar about him becoming Superman. That's why people were screaming about it. It's because... Henry Cavill has stepped into something that we have not seen at least in the last 15 to 20 years. A Hollywood star where people and fans of that star will go see what that person is in because their name is attached to it. Now, what gave me this idea here is one, watching a lot of what the Friday Night Tights guys talk about, and two... Tom Connors from Midnight's Edge had a he he was going on about you know I'm kind of he 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 mentioned in uh over on Comics Division stream on Thursday night I, I don't remember the name of the stream I just I just watch the streams I don't memorize the names of the streams but he made a mention he goes you know it I like the fact that Henry Cavill isn't going to be playing Superman anymore he goes because I don't really see Henry Cavill as Superman he's like he's transcended that role for me I see Henry Cavill as Henry Cavill now. 
And I, I would, you know, and I think he alluded to the fact that he would watch things with Henry Cavill in it because it's Henry Cavill, not because it's a character that he enjoys, but because Henry Cavill is Henry Cavill, and we know the respect that he has for a lot of the culture, a lot of the nerd culture, and things like that. And it finally clicked for me. I, it just, it was bothering me. I was like, man, I, I've, everybody's talking about Henry Cavill, and I can't figure out how to talk about Henry Cavill. And I'm like, but it's bothering me that I can't figure it out. And then thank you to Tom Connors, because you finally made it click. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the next wave of Hollywood stars is beginning. As long as people take note from Mr. Henry Cavill. I think if the trajectory continues and he has these executive producer rights on these movies that he's going to be in and these series that he's going to be in, such as is the rumor with the Warhammer 40K series. Now, I am not a Warhammer 40K fan, not because I have anything against it. I just never got into it, right? It's just, but... I will check out the series because it's got Henry Cavill in it because I feel like the guy wants to give his all to the role. Now, the Witcher series, I didn't really want to necessarily check out the Witcher series, although my wife did. And my wife, when she found out he was gone, she was done. She's not doing the Witcher. That's it. That's over. It's not a thing for her anymore. And that right there tells me everything that I need to know. I think we will, in the next 20 to 30 years, as long as their trajectory continues, talk about Henry Cavill in the same way that we talk about Denzel Washington, Tom Cruise, Keanu Reeves. Well, you know, it's not really my movie, but darn it, Henry Cavill was in it, so I went and saw it, and he was the best part of it. In fact, there's been a lot of movies out there that I go and see simply because they have a star, an actual star that I go see because I would never watch these movies, but it's got that star in it. For instance, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser is that guy for me. I loved Brendan Fraser when I was younger. He was my Indiana Jones because of the Mummy movies. I've, I've seen him in Journey to the Center of the Earth. I watched him in Inkheart, which is my favorite movie that he has done because of the father-daughter relationship there. Um, and so Brendan Fraser, he was my Hollywood star when I was younger, and I really haven't had one since he's bowed out, and hopefully he comes back with a vengeance with his new movie, The Whale. But getting away from that tangent, what do you guys think? Do you think that Henry Cavill is reviving or could possibly revive the culture of the Hollywood star, not just people that are on screen, right? I mean, we've got, again, I've mentioned a few. I would say Johnny Depp is probably in there as well, but to actually introduce into the culture, again, a younger star who's got years ahead of him, right? Who is ready to build and create and, 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 and bring to life characters for the fans of these properties and give the best performance that he can and be honest about it. Stay apolitical, whether he whether he believes in what I believe in or not, but just not bring it up and just let his artistry shine through. Do you think that Henry Cavill is ready to build that culture in our modern day? Do you think that he will be one of the tent poles to build that culture? Because with everybody talking about him the way that they've been talking about him, that's the only way that I can think about him right now. That's going to get clipped. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think down in the comments below. It'd be absolutely fantastic to hear from you. And never forget that your comments are always read by me. I, in fact, dedicate a special live stream every single Sunday at 11 a.m. It's called Sunday Coffee, reading your comments. And I go through and I read all of the comments on my videos from the last week of videos because I feel that if you guys are here, whether you love me or hate me and you're dedicating time to me, I should absolutely to respect you guys and your time, dedicate time to you. So join me on Sundays for that. And never forget to be here at 8 p.m. on Friday nights for Iron Age Nights, where we 
bring on the smaller authors, the smaller comic book creators, the smaller movie directors. I will find the smaller game developers. I just haven't yet. They have eluded me, but I will find them. But we bring on the smaller creators and do our best to talk about them, their projects, and we do our best to build them up as much as possible. Because as we have seen, Hollywood has not gone the best direction in the last years, and they've told a lot of bad stories. And so my goal is to find those people who are telling good stories and highlight them. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to build culture anew from the ashes of the old one. And I hope that you are all here with me to enjoy the ride. So ladies and gentlemen, until next time, cheers, everybody.